Well, another day and another prime delivery. Today, I'm going to talk about another new find for me on uh, Amazon. This is the Summit Paracord Mill Spec Commercial Grade Type 3 7 Strand Paracord. So, stay tuned and let's unbox this thing and see what we think. So as I said last week, uh, when I was out sick, I spent a lot of time just messing around on Amazon, found a couple of new ones, and this is another one, Summit Paracord. Never heard of them before, but they uh, claim they are mil spec, and for 50 feet at uh, $779, I thought, why not? So I picked it up, and let's unbox this thing and see what we think. So, okay, comes loosely packed, it says 550 paracord, contains seven interior strands for emergencies, ideal for camping, survival, boating, fishing, clothesline, by a certified government contractor. So... <clears throat> Now this is foliage green. I don't know, to me it looks, I'll show you guys. To me it looks more gray than it does green, but anywho, has a nice feel to it. It does have, as we've seen before, where it kinda is flat it flattens out versus versus being more of a roll but it's not as bad as that evergreen stuff that we had last week so let's open it up and see if it's actually military spec okay so, as you can see, it has the seven, but it does not have that extra strand like true military spec paracord does. So, this is standard 550 paracord. It does have a nice feel to it. It is soft. Um, Overall, feels nice. Does look like it kind of wants to kink. Yeah, see, it does kind of want to kink, as you can see, as I'm trying to get those kinks out, it does try and kink back up. So, I have never heard of Summit Paracord, and it makes me think that there's a reason why. So let's see how it burns, shall we? So it doesn't stay burning. That's nice. Cools off relatively quickly. Again, that's nice. Let's see how it interacts whenever it is burned for a longer time. Does it stay lit, lit or? Okay, this stuff is staying lit. It's almost like, it's almost like a wick. 
So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I guess if you needed a, now once I stood it up, as you could see it did go out. But uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. That's uh, not normal. So that's not a good sign. Let's take a look at this. So it says it is made by in the USA. Uh, <clears throat> but once again, without that internal piece, I don't know how this could be considered military spec. So uh, it sounds like that's a marketing ploy to me. So let's make a uh, quick bracelet and see how this comes out. So be right back. So I thought I'd show you this real quick. So I figured, you know what, I gotta cut this. I'm gonna make another piece of another bracelet just to try it out. So I cut another piece and just to verify, yeah, there's no military, there's no separate line there that normally denotes um, military spec or military grade, um, military grade paracord. So the only way they're saying that they're military spec is that it's seven, it's seven true strands. So um, just know that going into it. It is not military uh, grade paracord. It's just true seven strand paracord. So like I said, I'm gonna make a quick bracelet and let's see how it uh, does. So if you look here, you can see just by, as I'm putting this on, how it's twisting on the inside. So yeah, this does not spell well for this stuff. And it's, it's trying to twist up on me. So I'm having to, because it wants to lay flat, I'm having to twist the cord. I'll say I had high hopes for this stuff, but those are rapidly diminishing. See, as I twist it, it's really trying to twist up on the outside. So <clears throat> that means to me that the sheath is too big and that the insides are just not well placed or put together or something. Because I, I have made hundreds, if not thousands, of these types of bracelets before and only have found that with cheap paracord have I ever run into problems like this. Last week's paracord, the evergreen stuff, I had problems like that, and that was some cheap Chinese-made stuff. So this is dis disappointing, to say the least. Okay, all finished. Um, <clears throat> as I said, it kinks up, and it was very difficult to get even. You can see it, now I do have this tight, but it, it doesn't want to even up. Even when I roll it, uh, putting it together, it, it does not want to even up. And it tried to twist on me quite a bit. Um, it's comfortable, it's smooth, it's, it's not unpleasant, but usability is not great i would this would be difficult to do a bunch of bracelets with quick it, maybe if i was just doing a cobra weave uh maybe but otherwise i just don't find this to be a very good for the price it's not bad if somebody gave it to me i could use it but I don't think it's a great cord that I would go out of my way to buy. So with that said, 
and considering how difficult it, it was to work with, I'm gonna give this a three out of five stars. This is not mil spec. I appreciate that it's uh, made in the USA, but I think I have had, uh, like the Wolverine is better Chinese made stuff than this. So uh, unfortunately that's another strikeout for the last two finds, but I guess this, there's a reason why this isn't uh, top grade stuff. You could use it. Uh, you could use it keychains. You could use it for shoestrings. I think it would work for something like that. But once again, I wouldn't go out of my way to find, buy this stuff. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Until next time, keep paracording. Later.